Hi Virgo, welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot. Welcome back to the channel. Virgo, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. Virgo, this is going to be your part two to um, the reading I did yesterday. God has a message for you. Archangel Uriel came out and showed up in the reading. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread so we can get a little bit more of a different view of the messages that are here for you today. I hope again, everyone's doing well. Thank you guys for all the love. Everyone who comments down below, subscribe, hit the like button. Now, when I check the algorithm, um, the analytics, it shows that half of you are not subscribed and are not liking the video. So if you are returning back to the video, can we do something really special for this part two? Everyone who clicked the reading, go ahead and hit the like button. You already know you're going to be resonating, enjoying yourself. So don't forget to do that, guys, because it really helps grow my channel. And the YouTube algorithm really loves it. So you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying yourself. All right, Virgo, we're going to get into the Celtic cross spread. I'm going to be pulling out some Oracle messages as well. We're going to get deep and we're going to see what else does Archangel Uriel, what messages that God want you to hear all right, Virgo, especially when it comes to your overall happiness, joy, financial security. So we're going to start. We're going to start the reading out with the current energy for Virgo. Virgo's current situation. What is the current Holy Spirit? Show me clearly for Virgo. What is the current situation? Card number one. Card number one for Virgo. Woo. All right. So there it is. We have four of cups. And the six of cups is here. All right, Virgo. So there's some discontent. Some unhappiness. Yeah, walking away. Look at this. Someone did something sneaky behind your back. Seven of swords. Ten of wands. Walking away. Unhappy. Fed up. So Virgo, emotionally, you're not feeling too well. You're not happy with some sort of offer that's being presented to you. Um, I feel like at, at the same time, it's like... There may have been a missed opportunity, okay? Like someone could be in their feelings as well about a missed opportunity with you. This could be somebody in the past, somebody that walked away or you walked away from, okay? Someone who caused some sort of betrayal in your life. This person could be thinking about you or there's definitely some unhappiness here. Um, why is this person showing up? Why is this person here? This could be a soulmate, Six of Cups. Someone from your past. We have the Will of Fortune. This is, um, yeah, and the Ten of Wands. So Virgo, this, this is the energy that's coming out, guys, is that this is a cycle that's not yet complete, all right? Virgo, I feel like you may have thought or wanted to move on from this person or you thought that it was over, but I see that this is a cycle that for some of you, I'm just picking up intuitively that someone may be returning a karmic return. That's what I'm picking up. But the Wheel of Fortune does represent an ending and so does the Ten of Wands. So take it as it resonates. I feel like someone deep down inside wishes that they can come back and return in, the, in your life. But because of this will of fortune, it's almost like it's stopping them, blocking them energetically from returning. But I feel like that is someone's desire. Someone's desire is to return back to you. They're unhappy with their life emotionally. All they can think about is the past, the memories, the good times that they had. I don't know who this is for. Two of Wands. They're making plans. They're trying to figure out how can I get back in the world with Virgo? How can I reconnect with Virgo? 
King of Cups. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're very manipulative. They're going to try to find a way to get back in your life. But Virgo, that ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. So again, I feel like there's somebody who wants to return, but at the same time, energetically, they will be blocked. All right. Now that may not be for everyone. We're going to pull another card. I feel like that was an important message for someone out there. All right. So Holy Spirit for my Virgos, for my lovely Virgo, we're going to get into the Celtic cross. We're going to get into the Celtic cross, guardian angels. Show me clearly, Archangel Uriel. If there's any other messages for Virgo, please show me. What is the current energy surrounding Virgo at this time? The current energy, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is beautiful. I love this energy, Virgo. So this is definitely Virgo energy. Virgo, so there's an offer here. There's an offer that you're about to receive, guys. There's a financial blessing coming your way. This could be a new job, a job opportunity, an opportunity to make money, long-term opportunity here. So Virgo, I feel like you've accepted the offer and you're ready to commit. You're ready to get to work. You're ready to get started. Um, this is all about starting your, um, this is all about growing Focused on the future, putting in that hard work. For example, you may have started a new job and you can see yourself climbing the ladder um, to where you may be entry level and now you're manager. You're working in management. I see you ready, hard to work hard and determined to accomplish your financial goals. So Virgo, look forward to some sort of financial opportunity here that you're going to accept. And it's going to require hard work, but you're willing to do that because you know that it's going to pay off for your future. At the bottom of the deck, we have the fool. So this is a new beginning, guys. This is a new offer that you're about to receive. You're about to embrace the new. You're about to do something completely different. It might be like a whole different like industry, environment. It's doing something completely new, all right? But you are protected and you're being guided and you're following your heart. Even though you don't have all the answers, you trust the future. You trust what's ahead of you. You trust your journey and your path. So Virgo, this is good. I'm loving the energy, guys. Is there any challenge? Holy Spirit, guardian angels, is there any challenge here for Virgo on this path of growth and financial freedom? No, there's no challenges here, Virgo. This is a position that was meant for you. All right, so again, yeah, I do see you leveling up financially, Virgo. Wow, so the heart, the, the challenge would be, if any, is to don't allow yourself to become distracted. Continue focusing on your mission. Continue focusing, staying determined. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the only knight that's working hard, extra hours, while everyone else is at home, partying at the club, hanging out. The Knight of Pentacles is actually working overtime or finding, you know, just spending their extra time on investing in their self because they investing in their future. So Virgo, with all of that hard work, that you're prepared to do, it's going to lead you to the King of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands and the Six of Wands. So this is victory. So Virgo, you stepping up in some sort of leadership role. This is going to be exciting. Look at this. We got the Knight of Wands. This is going to be exciting for you, Virgo. This is like, you know, this is going to be like the first time in your life where... 
I feel like you're going to just feel happy, successful. You get along with everyone at work or you enjoy what it is that you do. You feel powerful. You feel strong. You feel like you're on the right path. Financially, you cannot complain about the money you're getting. You're very happy. Everything is aligning, okay? The victory, the success that you've been working hard for, you will receive with that victory reef here. People will see that Virgo went through some struggles but overcame it, okay? That's what's coming. That's what spirit has for you, Virgo. Success. You're coming out as two kings, all right? So this is letting me know that you're going to be put in a position as a role model for sure. Let's keep this move, this uh, reading going. So for Virgo, the third card out, what does Virgo need to focus on? What does Virgo need to focus on? All right, so let's see. What does Virgo need to focus on in order to reach this financial success? Okay. Mm -hmm. Self-love. Pouring into your own cup. All right. So putting God first in your life. Okay. God is going to fill your cup up every time. Queen of Cups. Trusting your intuition, trusting your emotions, taking good care of yourself. The queen of love, I mean, I said the queen of love. The queen of cups have so much love to give because she gets her cup filled by God. God fills her cup up with love and overflows it where she has so much love to give. She loves herself unconditionally to the point where she has so much love to give. So what you need to focus on, Virgo, is what Spirit is saying, is to focus on you. Focus on you right now. Focus on your cup being full. You're going to have plenty to give to others, but with you and the divine, your cup will be full at all times. So you never have to worry about running out, running low, disconnected, you know, from your intuition. Staying focused on this energy will keep you will keep you um, you know, operating and functioning as you should. Giving, you know, loving yourself, giving to yourself, taking good care of your emotions, taking good care of yourself is going to keep you what I'm, I don't know why I can't say what I'm trying to say. What it's going to do for you, Virgo, loving yourself and, and investing into yourself emotionally, this is going to allow you to flourish. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. God is going to keep that cup full as long as you focus on it. As long as you focus on God's love, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what God says you should focus on. Focus on the love that God is pouring into your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because I, it was hard for me to say it. God wants you to focus on the love that he's pouring into your life so that you can overflow, so that that, over, that cup is overflowing for you to give to your family, your friends, Whoever needs it, okay? That's what you should focus on, okay? We're going to keep this moving for Virgo. So what is Virgo leaving in the past? What is Virgo leaving behind? Okay. Wow. The Four of Swords. All right. So Virgo, there was some sort of truth that you had to rest on. Four of Swords, there was some sort of clarity, some sort of truth that was revealed. All right. This is what you needed, guys. You needed to either stop putting your time, your energy 
into someone or something and it took the truth being revealed for you to change your mind or make some sort of decision. So I see that in the past, you had to pull back your energy from someone or something, okay? Wow. You pulled your energy, you put some sort of relationship, job, or something to rest. All right. And it's like you're leaving it there. You're leaving it in the past. Whatever information you found out, whatever God wanted you to see, you saw it, you got the clarity, you got the information, and now you're leaving it behind. All right, so I love that. Number five, we have, all right, so Virgo, let's see what's going on here for Virgo. What is Virgo's strengths? Virgo's strengths. Temperance, my favorite. There it is. All right, so Virgo, there it is. Earth Angel. This is where this is where you're very strong at bringing peace, balance, love, harmony back in a situation. Bringing hope back into a situation. Bringing balance to chaos. All right? So this is where you're strong. I told you guys you're an Earth Angel. So Virgo, that's one of your strength, strengths, if you didn't know, is peace, bringing harmony and love back into a situation, all right? Doing things in moderation, not overdoing it. I, have you ever seen a drunk Virgo? Like, I don't know. I've never seen a Virgo that was just belligerent, plastered. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the look, the three of cups flipped over. Have you guys ever seen like a Virgo that was just like, like silly drunk? Like I've never, I've never met one. So it says here, Virgo, you do things in moderation. That's your strength. Number six. Let's see what's coming in for you, Virgo. Let's see what's coming in for us Virgos. What's happening in the near future that Virgo needs to see? If you guys are enjoying this Celtic cross spread, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. In the near future, Virgo, there's that decision that we were uh, picking up in the last reading. There's that very tough decision that you're going to have to make in the near future, guys. It has everything to do with, I feel like it's a tough, hard decision. Let's see what this is about. Mmm, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this is all about a choice, a decision that needs to be made. Whose team are you going to be on? Let's see. Show me more about this Two of Swords. Clarify. What is this Two of Swords? This tough, tough decision that Virgo's going to have to make. This tough decision. What is this tough decision in the near future, Holy Spirit? Okay, it's a tough decision. There it is. We have the Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. So there's a tough decision about a wish, a dream coming true. Your dreams, dreams coming true, turning into reality. Manifesting your dream life. Why is that a tough decision? Having everything you've ever wanted. Oh, because of the Six of Swords here. The Six of Swords is all about, I've learned all my lessons. I see everything clearly. I know what it is I need to do. And that's when your angels grab. That's when Jesus takes the will and guide you in the right direction. This is submission. This is you letting go and letting God 
grab the steering wheel and guide you down more peaceful, more calmer waters. Okay? This is trusting in your spiritual team. For some of you, it's been hard. It's been too hard to do that because you haven't seen the immediate results. But what your spiritual team wants you to know, Virgo, what's ahead, where God is taking you, you're going to be, this is how you're going to feel when God is done delivering all your dreams, all your wishes, everything you wanted, you're going to feel spoiled. That's what the Nine of Cups is about. Spoiled from the universe to the point where they use like a larger person here on the card, just letting you know. This card can represent greed as well, but it's not like in the reverse. So this is someone who's, you know, you know, gets everything they want. The whole Thanksgiving dinner, whatever you want, <laughs> you got it. I want to eat good. I want to go to the most expensive restaurant, eat, all, you know, do all the things I wanted to do. You know, I want to go here, go there, do this, do that. You know, be careful because you're going to be eating really good, Virgo. And this is not just for the holidays. This is getting everything you want, having money to go out to eat. So be careful because you can gain weight. Now, your strength is temperance, doing things in moderation, but be careful because you're going to be very abundant. You're going to have a, everything you want, things that you wish for, things that, you know, you dreamed of is coming true. All right. So just be mindful that Virgo, you're about to have power in your hands to do some of the things that you never thought you, you could do in this lifetime. Look at this. We have the world and the pregnant empress. Life is about to change. Life is about to get good, you guys. This is what your spiritual team wants you to know. In the near future, God is moving you places that you've never dreamed of. It's going to put you in an extremely wealthy and an abundant um, position in life here. Earth Angel Virgo, you're going to be in a position of authority in this next chapter here. So for some of you, you're entering this next chapter right now as spirit has taken the will and, and navigated you towards where you're supposed to go. I feel like you've gotten a little lost on your journey, not wanting to go within, not wanting to see the truth, not knowing what to trust, Virgo. So spirit is saying Coming out of that energy, going within, trusting your intuition, trusting your guardian angels, you're going to be led and, gu and guided right towards this victory. All right. Wow. This is beautiful. Again, for some of you, you may never work again. So speaking of which, <clears throat> before I get into the advice, what's going on in the energy in your environment and, you know, before I get into the hopes and fears and like the potential outcome, I do want to get some career energy. What's going on with Virgo? Because for some of you, I can predict that in this chapter, you're not going to be working. For some of you, you are leveling up in your career. This is a general reading, so I'm getting both messages. But long story short, you've worked hard, you've been focused on your future, and now it's manifesting. For Virgo, and now my nose is itching. Whew. Okay, so Virgo, work, career, finances, work, career, finance. What is the message here? Archangels, Holy Spirit, yes. We have answers and timing. Okay, renewal at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what's going on. You will resolve your current situation soon, work-wise. You find unique ways to stand out. You find a new opening with job security. There's the key. So God is blessing you, okay? 
That's why you're coming out with the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Your life is about to change. God has blessed you with answers and with this key here. This key is going to get you in the doors that you were not able to enter. All right. Maybe you applied, but they never called back. Maybe you're like, you know what, I have a job, but I would really love to, you know, this position or I have a job, but it's not my dream job, <laughs> you know? So Virgo, these opportunities are opening up. Um, I have a job, but I would love to retire. That's opening up for you because whoever I'm picking up, that's not going to work anymore. Empress, this is an older woman, or this is just someone of wealth born into this wealth. But what I'm picking up for my um for my viewers, this is giving me the energy that Virgo, this is a secured retirement. You're not gonna have to work. Spirit is saying the biggest thing you're gonna have to do is just work on loving yourself, doing things for yourself, doing things for you, because all your life you've been putting in for everyone else. You know, even for your children, you go hard. For your partners, you go hard. At work, you go hard. That's why Spirit is saying in this chapter, Virgo, it's just all about you, okay? Not saying that you're going to ignore people, but you're going to realize that if I pour from this cup, it's just going to get pour, you know, filled right back up by God. If I pour out of my cup of love, I don't have to worry anymore because now... Every time I pour from my cup, <clears throat> God just fills it right back up. That's what's going on. This is just you focused on God's love. That's it in this chapter. God is going to fulfill everything for you, that job security that you desire. For some of you, you're not finished with your careers. So you're still looking for job security. And that's what's coming. Spirit says this is the time. This is the time, okay? It may not have happened before. It may not happened because it wasn't the right time. It's all in the timing right now. Pull another card to see, to see if you need to do it now, wait a while, or make a different decision. So let's take a look. For Virgo, we're going to get an angel All right. When it comes to divine timing, angels, what is your message? When it comes to divine timing for Virgo, changes. I told you guys, this is the time. This is the time. No more waiting. Because on here it says, Pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a make a different decision. All right. So this is now. This is the time. And this is like, you know, this is what's coming in your near future. You're going to have to make a decision that's going to change your life. We have angel number 454. It says, Virgo, embrace change and take courageous steps to unlock opportunities for personal growth and spiritual transformation. Did it just say unlock? And that's pretty much what this key is here for. Okay. That's what this key is all about. All right. These changes that are coming. All right. This is beautiful. These opportunities are about to be unlocked. You're going to you're going to gladly, happily accept one of these offers. And again, it's going to change your life forever. I can't make it up. Transformation at the bottom of the deck. Angel number 555. If I'm sounding weird and like, like seem weird, I'm just scratching my nose. It's like freaking, <laughs> it's like freaking me out. Ugh. I remember this happened last time and some of you in the comments were like, someone's coming. Someone's, oh my God, I don't know what this is, but my nose I'm sure is red like Rudolph from me, like just like itching it so much. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, Virgo. So now we see what's going on. All right. So now we're going to get into it. Mm-hmm. What is the advice, Holy Spirit, for Virgo? What is the advice? Yeah. For some of you, there was a different decision that had to be made, and that's why it was so hard. Okay? But a lot of you, I don't know what that fear is with going within, trusting your spiritual team, but a lot of us have already did it, and that's why we're about to re receive the Nine of Cups. I'm super duper excited about that. Empress energy, oh my goodness. Virgo, I don't know what I'll do with myself. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what I would do in the Empress energy. Like, I mean, I guess I would just be so focused on what I can create and what I can do for the world because I'm fully taken care of. Okay, let's see what's going on. What is the advice? Advice? And then what is the advice? Holy Spirit. <sighs> All right, so don't beat yourself up, Virgo. The decision that you're going to have to make is not hard. It's not hard at all. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about decisions you, you know, don't worry about bad decisions you made in the past. Don't worry about what people have said to you. You're never going to make it. Um, you're not you know, you're not good at this. You're not good at that. You're not smart enough. You're not this, you're that, you know, or this could be thoughts of your own. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I prayed about it. I don't know. Nothing's changing. I don't, you know, I'm trying to have faith, but I just don't see nothing happening. Don't worry about it, Virgo. You might not see it at the time that you expect to see it. Okay. Please don't do this to yourself. This is the seventh card. And this is a spiritual advice. Don't beat yourself up about anything you did wrong, okay? If you feel like you need to repent over something that you did, wholeheartedly repent and move on. And just, you know, ask your guardian angels to guide you away from that kind of pattern of behavior. But Virgo, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. This is a fresh new start. So Spirit is saying, don't beat yourself down over things that you did wrong. If anything, you acknowledging it means that you're not a narcissist. You worried and stressed out about something that you said or thought about or whatever somebody said lets you know that you are a really good person, okay? So this is a good time to forgive and forget and move on. Okay, that's what the advice is. Because whatever you're struggling about, up at night about, worried about, you're not going to be in this energy very long. So that's why I'm not really harping on that because I know it's about to change. You know, some of you in the comments, like, you know, it's hard right now. I'm struggling. It's hard. Sometimes I don't really say anything because I'm like, it's about to change. It's about to change. Like they don't realize their situation is about to change. And that's what this, this cycle is all about. All right. For Virgo, what's going on in your environment that you don't see? What's happening in your environment that you don't see? What's happening around Virgo that Virgo doesn't see, that Virgo needs to be aware of? What's happening in Virgo's environment? We have the seven of wands. So Virgo, there's a lot of power around you. You're standing in a power position. No matter what life throws at you, you're going to be able to defend yourself and protect yourself. You're in a strong position. All right, Virgo, this is good. So any anyone, anything that's in your environment that's trying to stop you or bring you down, God has put you in this powerful position to, to, to not really... Be affected by it. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Pentacles here with the Ten of Pentacles. There may be people after your money. Yeah, we have the Three of Swords. People that are a little heart, you know, like a little, um, what is it, butt hurt or feelings hurt about your success, about your breakthrough, about your financial um, 
blessings that are coming in. The Nine of Pentacles is really like showing off. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles is like, yes, I have money. I'm not afraid to show that I have money. I'm not afraid to show that God has blessed me, okay? Like even though you, you know, you might give to a beautiful charity, you might do things for a lot of people, but the Nine of Pentacles represents, I also take good care of myself. And I love this energy. So Virgo, there may be people around you that may be a little jealous of your new home or your new wardrobe, but don't worry about all that. You know, God blessed you and put you in this position for a reason. Big changes are happening. All right. So Virgo's hopes and fears. That you make the right choice. That you make the right choice. I don't know why making the right choice is so like tough here. Like, hmm. Maybe because we have the five of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm picking up, Virgo, is that you're fearing that your situation will continue. This hardship, not having any money, feeling like these people are walking outside of the church. All right. So it's like this can also represent feeling like your prayers are not answered when it comes to your financial needs. So this is your fear. This is your fear that you commit because the Lovers is all about a choice, a commitment. You fear that once you commit and make the choice to honor and glorify God, your fear is that your financial situation is not going to improve. That it's that honoring God and and you know choosing your spiritual team. And, you know, choosing what spiritual side you're going to choose on, the devil or God. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, Virgo, it's not like you want to choose the devil, but it's like, for some of you, it's hard to fully support or step on the train that God is running. You know what I mean? It's hard for me to talk. I don't know why right now. My nose is itching. But Virgo... I feel like for some of you, it's hard for you to fully, fully give your heart to God. So it puts you in this position where you haven't picked a side yet. So the reason why is because your hopes and fears is that you fully support God, but yet financially you're still struggling. So let's see what the outcome is. For Virgo. Spirit is saying pull a card, okay? We're going to pull a card. When it comes to Virgo's hopes and fears, it seems like you're more concerned about financial security. So, Holy Spirit guardian angels, what is your message for Virgos that are finding it so hard to make a decision to fully support God because they're fearing that if they do, they're still not going to get the financial freedom that they desire. Guardian angels, what is your message for that? For Virgos who need that confirmation of God's love that's about to pour and reign over their life. For Virgos, we have looking. There it is. At the bottom, power. Wealth. Money tree. Celebration. Foresight. All right? Now we have two eyes here. Two eyes is looking at you, Virgo. So does, is that, and I'm just telling you guys what I'm hearing. <laughs> Does that 
make it clear to you now, Virgo? Is it clear to you now? Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Celebrations. Money tree. This is where you're guided, guys. Down the money path. Wealth. Authority, power, okay? There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. Seek and you will find. Be farsighted and alert. This is your reading, guys. This is your reading. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. To close the reading. To close the reading. Potential outcome. Wow. Major Arcana judgment. This is what God has for you. Wake up, Virgo. Because it's time to make that decision. Judgment. And, oh, look at every money card is out. Ten of Pentacles. This is what God has for you. God is such a loving God. Make the righteous choice, Virgo, please. Your angels are here trying to get you to hear that God is for to make everything all right in your life. This is a second chance, Virgo. This is a renewal. This is a spiritual awakening time in your life for you to do something to make the right choice spiritually for yourself. And I promise you, you will be protected. You will be loved. Okay. All right, guys. This reading was beautiful. I love it. Your angels always have a beautiful message for all of us. Whew. So Virgo, expect your life to be renewed, renewed guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this part too. I love you guys. You know that I'm always going to lead you back to God. I'm always going to show you what God has for you. I'm always going to remind you of God's love over each and every one of you. But remember, I'm just a messenger. I have to work on these things too. Sometimes I have to re-listen to my own readings. All right, guys. But this is beautiful. I love you guys. Until the next time, stay blessed and take good care of yourself, Virgo. And don't be afraid. To fully, fully, fully let God into your heart. You got to because you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to be. Have you guys seen that movie Left Behind? I think there's a part one, two, three. You don't want to be left behind. Okay, so do whatever you got to do spiritually, because when you do, God is going to show you how much love he got for you. Plus some. All right. So until the next time, guys, stay blessed. Bye, Virgo.